you know how um, in, in whatever industry that is selling something to you, sometimes there are faults in the food, faults in the electronic um, product or whatever the product is, there's faults, there's batches that have problems, whether they are poisoned, whether they do not work properly, there's just faults. And these batches need to be recalled from the shelves. You know how that gets done where product is recalled from the shelf because it's found that there was some kind of um, irregularity in how it was made and it, it does not match every other product. So it needs to be recalled. I had this dream on the, on the 23rd of August. I had this dream on the 23rd of August and it was about the music of Kirk Franklin. Now, I don't know Kirk Franklin personally. Um, I have, you know, I don't feel either way about his music, but this is a dream that this is what happened in my dream. On the 23rd of August, God came to me in my dream to converse with me and just have this conversation about Kirk Franklin with me and his music. And he started talking to me about the fact that, you know, he, Kirk Franklin had this porn addiction uh, and that he had, conf he, that he had come out publicly about on very large platforms, CBN, the Oprah Winfrey show. And he spoke openly about this porn addiction and was emphasizing, you know, that he was engrossed in this porn addiction while he was making this music and releasing it and publishing it, but he was engrossed in it. In, I watched, I remember watching the Oprah Winfrey interview and I also watched the CBN interview. In both interviews, he's not, he's not repenting. Um, and I don't know what he has done uh, between him and God in his private prayer place, but in these public um, interactions and dialogues where he is, coming out transparently he's not necessarily repenting he's just talking about what happened and the lord said to me he made me notice and zoom into the fact that kirk franklin sold many records that were created sang all over the world and played world over while he was watching porn and masturbating to porn while his mind was soaked in pornography, he was also putting out music that was supposed to be Christian music, that was supposed to be edifying music to the believer. And while we were having this conversation, you know, the saying that says the spirit of a man inhabits everything he does came to me. But I, I sat and waited for a number of days since then to release this word because I was waiting for the word of the Lord to come to me. And he sent me to a number of words in Romans 8, 9, Romans 8, 9, the Lord says, but you are not living the life of the flesh. You are living the life of the spirit. If the Holy Spirit of God dwells within you, directs and controls you. But if anyone does not possess the Holy Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. He does not belong to Christ. He is not truly a child of God. I'm reading from the Amplified Edition. So if you're following Christ and you're following the Holy Spirit of Christ, you are a son, you're recognized as a son, your identity is that you're a son, but if you do not follow the Holy Spirit of Christ, you're not recognized as a son, and the flesh is in you, and the Holy Spirit is not in you. The Lord said to me, if he was listening to, because he was, he was watching porn and doing all the things that come along with porn, that means that his music is accursed with, is laced with, um, the spirit of, of filth and perversion and that his music, he reminds me that porn is a portal for filth and perversion and the harm of the devil to come in and wreak havoc in a life. He said, Kirk Franklin was filled 
with the defiled thing, the accursed thing, watching porn, masturbating, and then making music that's supposed to defile, uh, music that's supposed to edify the body of Christ, canceled, those two things don't mix. He said he was filled and defiled with pornography, watching pornography, and that addiction yet wrote more Christian songs and released these defiled and accursed songs that were filled with, with demonic portals, um, pornography portals. He released these things into the public as Christian music. God was telling me that his music was full of the spirit of porn. The portals of porn are the assignment of destruction and perversion. He showed me that as he went on to CBN and the Oprah Winfrey show and publicly taught about this problem with sin and pornography of pornography, but he did not denounce it. He did not denounce it. Um, he did not recall the defiled music that he had released while in that state of addiction. He did. He overlooked the portals he opened in his music by watching porn and then creating so-called Christian music and then publishing it into the public. World over, not just in the United States, world over. He didn't recall that music. He went to the public and told his story, but he was not denouncing his story. He was just telling his story. He did not repent publicly for putting out music like that. He did not recall his music. That's what the Lord was showing me. He, did, he said he did not recall the defiled product, his music, in the periods he was creating it under the, the snare of porn addiction. So it's either all across he's been watching porn or there's a period where he was addicted and he was creating music. And that music of that period, he did not denounce it. He did not recall it from the shelves. The word of the Lord in Proverbs 23 verse 6 says this. Proverbs, the Proverb 23 verse 6 to 8. It says this. Eat not the bread of him who has a hard grudging and envious eye, neither desire his dainty foods. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. As one who reckons, he says to eat and drink, yet his heart is not with you. The morsel which you have eaten, you will vomit up and your complimentary words will be wasted. From this word, I'm saying, I'm saying that Kirk Franklin said, eat. Yet his heart was not with the Ecclesia. Yet his heart was not with the Christians. He didn't protect us. The word of the Lord in Acts 19, let me go to Acts 19. The word of the Lord in Acts 19 verse 18 and 19 says this about those who had been worshipping idols, had literature of idols, had paraphernalia of, of, of idols. And they came into contact through Paul, um, into contact with the gospel of peace. And when they recognized that they had been involved in the occult, they had been involved in idolatry, they denounced publicly everything that they had been doing when they came into the knowledge of the truth. They therefore denounced the lie. In, in Acts verse 19, uh, in Acts chapter 19, verses 9, 8 and 9, 18 and 19, it says this, Many also of those who were now believers came, making full confession and thoroughly exposing their former deceptive and evil practices. And many of those who had practiced curious magical arts collected their books and throwing them book after book on the pile burned them in the sight of everybody. When they counted the value of them, they found it amounted to 50,000 pieces of silver. That is equivalent to about $9,300 in the American uh, in the American currency, you can convert that for yourself in your own currency and see how much money that was invested into that. So much money was invested into the defiled music. You know, there were ties to the record label, which was the occult. There were ties to whoever invested the money to his albums that he released while while pouring the spirit of and the defilement 
of pornography into his music while it's so while while it kind of sounded like christian music and god's gripe with what with kirk franklin it seemed to me in this conversation because he was telling me his gripe with him is that um he did not recall the defiled thing he did not recall the accursed thing so he has not come to the truth because if he was truly convicted he would have denounced those albums he would have pulled them off the shelves for the sake of the ear gate the heart gate and the soul gate of the believer and he did not that's what god was showing me to notice he was zooming in and he said he did not recall the the defiled and the filthy and the perverted product from the shelves he went public and he 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 talked about it he didn't repent publicly i don't know what he did in his prayer life but he didn't repent publicly is what god showed me and that he did not recall the accursed and the defiled thing the thing that has portals to destruction for the ears that hear it for the eyes that see it for the soul that consumes it he did not recall the har the harmful thing from the shelf remember how companies when they found that there's a batch that is defiled somehow is inconsistent somehow and will cause harm to the public at large he was releasing his music at large but when he was talking about this this batch i don't know how many albums he was producing music under that circumstance i don't know how many batches there are of albums of music published during that time of his addiction he didn't recall those batches of music he didn't recognize them for what they are and and recall them and denounce them and repent to the public for releasing music such as that for their ear gates and their and their soul gates to hear and be and be defiled by and be perverted by and be destroyed by and god was telling me about his gripe with the, with kirk franklin in this way the lord said he didn't hold up and expose each defiled album and ask the public not to buy it he did not denounce what he did he did not take back what he did he did not throw away the defiled thing um and god says finally to me now this morning and he, because he's been having this conversation because i've been waiting for scripture to partner with this word and um and, and to 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 move this word forward in a holy way um and then finally he said to me this morning since he did not recall his works and since they have not recalled their works from the shelves all those men and women who have released defiled music since they have not recalled the the, the their works of iniquity from the shelves he's saying since they've not recalled their works of iniquity from the shelves you now that you have come to the knowledge of the truth you recall it you throw it away just like those men and those women did in acts 19 verses 18 and 19 when they came to the truth of what they had been engaged in many also of those who were now believers came making full confession and thoroughly exposing their practices he did not expose his, his practice to the point where he recalled the defiled thing. Because the next verse after the exposure, verse 19 says, And many of those who had practiced curious magical arts collected their books and threw them book by book on the pile, burned them in the sight of everybody. He didn't recall. He didn't recall. He didn't throw it away. He didn't throw away the profit he would make. He didn't throw away the gigs he would make. He would be called for. He didn't throw away the gigs. He didn't throw away the publishing profits, the royalties. He didn't throw them away into the fire. So this is what the Lord said to me. Heed. But also, this is not only about the music of Kirk Franklin. This is also about 
everything that is defiled that you come to the knowledge every kind of food spiritual or natural food that you have come into the knowledge that is a defiled food and is bringing harm to you it's opening portals for the influx of demonic occupation in your life he's saying watch for these things that need to be recalled spiritual things physical things that need to be recalled that are not being recalled and when you come to the truth, after you ask God to open up your eyes to see the things that you need to get out of your life and recall out of your life since they're not going to tell you. He's saying when you come to the knowledge of whatever needs to be gotten out of your life, get it out of your life. Next, I will do a teaching on um, very, very much related to this message of the Lord. So the message of the Lord is the music of Kirk Franklin is defiled. During the period that he was creating it and he was looking at porn at the same time, that has portals, it is laced with defilement, it is laced with perversion. You should not listen to it, throw it away. He did not recall it. It's an accursed and defiled thing. It does not edify you because the circumstances of addiction that he created it under are not suitable to, um, to edify you, to strengthen you in your inner man because they are defiled with the perverted thing. They are defiled with portals and demons of, of, of pornography. So he's saying, if he did not recall it, you recall it out of your life. Get it off your playlists. If you have it in CD form, get those CDs out of your life. Um, find out, you know, if he, if at any point he indicated during which albums and which albums. I believe at some point he, he mentioned, um, get rid of those albums. Don't listen to that music anymore. There's plenty of undefiled um, faith music christian faith music to listen to so if he does not do it you do it because now you have come to the knowledge you have come to the knowledge of the truth and the truth comes to set you free repent denounce and renounce and recall burn it get rid of the accursed object of the accursed music from your home from your ear gate from your soul gate I'll talk to you again next time. Remember, to be with God is to obey and to serve him. So obey and serve God. Okay, bye.